And full studio always got some crazy distortion on the drum. Southside, Metro Boomin, these are all examples of people who used that soft clipper effect and made it made beat sound really distorted because of it. But distorted in a good way though, keep that in mind. It adds to the darkness of the beats, adds to the darkness of the melody, adds to the hard hitting drums, you feel me? But in Ableton, it always has been this hard to, to create that knock, that distortion, dirtiness into your drums. I finally found a workaround, check it out. So what I started using lately is buses. Buses are really important. And for the people that don't know what a bus is, a bus is basically an audio track which has multiple instruments, multiple tracks running through that one track uh, where effects can 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 have effect on multiple tracks at the same time without having to export it or anything so you can just keep it in the project and still move everything around. So this is how the drums sound without without anything on it. Still sounds pretty hard from itself, but we're gonna make it even harder. What I found is that the knock plugin of Decap, I overlooked this for so long, but this is actually super easy to get that crunchiness without all the, the unnecessary distortion that you get with stock effects from Ableton like drum bus or saturator. I got this default preset that I made for myself because it has all the effects I want from the get go. So you're gonna want to get the root note of your, of your 808 or of your bass in here. So right away, let's listen to how it sounds with my default preset on it. See how easy this was? This is crazy. And then what I'll just do is I'll add a saturator on the master and then it, it adds to the squashing effect of the drums, but it all, will also include the melody in it. Put the drive up a little bit. That's my default saturator preset. I also put the output down. You might think then it doesn't have effect that you gained the signal. Yes, it does. Because when you gain the signal, the effect will sound different than if you didn't gain the volume. By ducking the output, you basically just make sure that the saturator can have more effect and will sound more triggered because you put the gain at the input. I you, I often use the soft sign. This is the only one that really works. A synoid fold works too, but it will often make your high sound too uh, distorted and too too cheap, really. Digital clip is also one, but it's, it's a little bit too subtle for me. So I just stick with a soft sign. You can also mess with this bass knob. You see, and when you put all of that together, you might, you squash it all of that into a soft clipper, into a limiter. You will get a better effect than FL Studio and all those guys who use just default presets of their own particular DAW. Make sure the 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 use saturator, use all these effects. Drum bus is cool too. Like I was gonna end off this video, but let's let's just do a drum bus in here. Boom. Yeah, make your boom and make it boom. Make it boom. The problem with this I got is that my heads often, it takes away from the brightness of my heads, which I don't like. And the knock plugin is great for that because the air knob basically controls the, the high quality of the, of the high end of the high heads. See, you, di you just dial the crispiness back into the beat. The vintage one sounds a little bit too much like the drum bus for me. So I don't use it because it makes it sound, makes the drum sound real low quality. And we don't want that. We want it to sound distorted, but high end high quality. This was this little distortion hack. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Make sure to check out my other videos as well. If you like this one, of course, otherwise then just click away. Thank you all for watching. Catch y'all in the next one.